everyone assalamualaikum okay so now we're going to study the last subtopic for chapter 5 which is power okay power okay so your first learning outcome okay your first learning outcome is define and use power okay define and use power so average power so when you see they say define you have two options it's either you want to state it in words or you want to give the equation Okay, so average power is defined as the work done per unit time. Okay, so what is power? So if if we can do, okay, if we can do more work in a shorter amount of time, then we, we say we have bigger power. Okay, so for example, okay, so for example, we have a person A. Okay, a person A and person B. Okay, person A and person B. Okay, so person A and person B have to move the same box. Okay, person A and person B have to move the same box, which is 10 kg. Okay, 10 kg over a distance, over a distance, a constant distance of 100 meter. Okay, they have to move the same box of 10 kg over a distance of 100 meter. So you have to people to person lah, person A and person B. Okay, so person A pun push the box, person B also pushes the box. Person A takes a total time of 10 seconds. Okay, but person B takes a total time of 20 seconds. Okay, so we would, we can say person A has a higher power. Okay, the power of uh, person A is bigger. Why? Because he can move. Okay, he can he make the work done. Okay, he move the box across hundred meter more fast, faster compared to person B who moved the box for for a distance of hundred meter but took twenty seconds. Okay, so power is defined as the work done per unit time. Okay, so if you take a shorter time to do the, a certain work, so your power is bigger lah. Power tool is bigger. Okay, so that's an, a brief explanation of what, an example of what power is. Okay, so for the formula, okay, formula for power is power, average power equals to rate change in work over change in time. Okay, so work done per unit time. Okay, so this one here, it shows that quantity of work. How much work is done? So, this is the quantity of work. Okay, so how much work is done? And this one, change in time. How long, how much time is taken? Okay, how long or, the, or how much time is taken untuk buat work tadi tu? Okay, so change quantity of work per unit change in time. So, this is the formula of power. So, for power's formula, you just have to use the instantaneous power formula okay and the unit for power is what okay capital w okay that's the unit for power okay so that's the first equation for power and we have another equation for power okay so we know power is the change of work per unit time rate of change of work okay so if we insert okay if we insert so we have d over dt and we replace work with its formula, which is Fs cos theta. Okay, we replace work with its formula, which is Fs cos theta. Okay, so what you can see here, what happens is, we can remove ds over dt. Okay, here you have ds. Okay, we bring out ds over dt. And in the bracket, in the, in, in the bracket we will still have F cos theta. Okay, if you remember, ds over dt, rate of change of displacement, rate of change of displacement is actually equals to the velocity. Okay, rate of change of displacement actually equals to the velocity. Therefore, we have another equation. Okay, by doing that, we have another equation. So, now we have, we can replace ds with dt with v. So, we have another equation which is Fv cos theta. Okay, so another equation for power equals to Fv cos theta. So, okay, and power equals to Fv cos theta where F is, the, F is the force, V is the velocity 
and theta is the angle between the force and the velocity okay angle between the force and the velocity okay so we can write powers formula is p equals to f dot v remember p p equals to f dot v we can open it as f v cos theta so this is the dot product okay dot product so we can power can be written as f dot v or also power can be represented as f v cos theta okay so you have two equation to calculate power if you have the velocity then you can use this equation but if you don't have the velocity and you have the work okay then you can use the previous equation okay so you have two equations to calculate power kita tengok apa yang soalan bagi based on apa yang soalan bagi tu then we choose which equation you don't have to remember how to derive this you don't have to remember awak perlu ingat equation ni dan equation ini sahaja and how to use them and remember the unit for power is what okay so let's continue to the example example 11 Okay, so example 11, it says that a 70 kg, 70 kg person runs up the staircase 3 meter high. Okay, Messi is 70 kg, run up the staircase 3 meter high in 3.5 seconds. How much power does he develop in climbing the stairs? Okay, how much power does he develop in climbing the stairs? Okay, so this one, you have to understand your concept. Okay, so the force... Okay, the force uh, done, okay, uh, for the force to be done or for the work is equal, okay, equal to the weight to overcome. So, maksudnya, force yang kita beri, force yang di, digunakan, force yang digunakan untuk naik tangga tadi tu, kena sama ataupun kena lebih daripada weight. So, barulah dia boleh naik tangga itu. Okay, so the force equal to the weight to overcome the gravity. To overcome the gravity Okay, so right now we want to calculate power So, kita guna formula power Which is power equals to work done over time Okay, so work done So, work done against gravity Okay, so work done against gravity Which is needs to be equal lah So, work done dia kena equal Dengan uh, force dia Okay, work done dia kena equal dengan force dia Force apa? Dengan the weight Okay, so the work done is going to be Fs cos theta over T. Okay, so the force here is actually weight. So, kita boleh bukakan dia kepada mg. Okay, and S is the displacement or how high he travel and cos theta. So, right now he's going up the staircase. Okay, and the force is also given to go up the staircase. Cuma force yang dia given untuk go up the staircase ni kena equal. Okay, force yang dia given to go up the staircase ni kena equal dengan mg. Okay, baru dia boleh bergerak naik atas staircase tu. Maksudnya dia kena bawa lah badan dia naik. Ha, so, dia kena equal to mg. Okay, so the theta is going to be kosong lah. Force dia ke atas, displacement dia pun ke atas juga. So, equals to cos theta di 0 bahagi dengan the time which is 3.5 seconds. Okay, so we substitute in the value. Mass dia adalah 70. G is 9.81. Okay, displacement is 3 meter. Cos 0. Okay, bahagi dengan 3.5. Okay, so kita akan dapat the power needed to climb up the stairs is 58, 500, sorry, 588.6 watts. Okay, so orang yang boleh naik staircase lagi cepat Okay, maksudnya power dia lebih tinggi Okay, so force force untuk dia Force yang diperlukan untuk naik staircase tu Kena sama Kena sama dengan force weight dia Barulah dia boleh mengangkat badan dia naik tu Okay, so that is the power For example 11 So let's see the next question Which is example 12 Okay, yang ini astronaut an astronaut with a space suit mass 110 kg. Okay, this is the mass. Climbing up a hill 7.3 meters. So, this is the displacement. In 7.2 seconds time, requires the astronaut to expand a power of 200 watt. So, kalian dia dah bagi dah power. Okay, sorry, dia dah bagi dah power kat kita. Is the astronaut on earth? 
So dia tanya kita adakah astronaut kita on earth So how do we know sama ada dia adalah on earth ataupun tidak So we have to calculate the gravitational acceleration Tengok nilai G yang awak dapat tu Dapat tak 9.81 Kalau dia dapat 9.81 Kalau G kita 9.81 That means astronaut tu on earth lah Kalau G dia nilai yang lain Maksudnya dia bukan on earth Okay so sama juga Power equals to work done over time Okay, dan bila kita buka book punya formula, dia akan jadi Fs cos theta over time. Okay, cuma sekarang we know the power, nilai power dia adalah 200. Okay, Fs, F, F, this, untuk force, okay, sama juga. Untuk dia climb the hill, untuk dia climb the hill, force yang dia perlukan adalah mesti sama dengan weight dia. Okay, so force yang dia perlukan mesti sama dengan weight dia. Barulah dia boleh membawa dirinya naik atas hill to okay so force ni is forced by the weight okay s is the displacement cause sama juga dia naik hill okay force dia dia naik hill and also displacement dia pun ke atas juga okay so theta kita adalah zero lah okay bahagi time yang diperlukan which is 7.2 seconds so 200 equals to force by the weight which is mg mgs cause Zero bahagi dengan 7.2 Dan kita boleh start masukkan nilai Equals to the mass is Mass dia adalah 110 G adalah apa yang kita nak cari Displacement dia dia dah bahagi 7.3 meter Okay bahagi dengan time 7.2 So kita akan dapat G Equals to Okay gravitational acceleration yang kita dapat is 1.79 meter per second squared Okay, 1.79 meter per second squared. So, bila kita dapat 1.79 meter per second squared, maksudnya ni bukan kat earth lah. Ni bukan G untuk earth. This is not the gravitational acceleration for earth. So, is the astronaut on earth? So, we say the astronaut, okay, the astronaut is not on earth. Okay, is not on earth. Okay, so this is how kita jawab soalan. So, dia pusing sikit je. Sama je dengan soalan atas. Cuma soalan atas kita cari power. Soalan ni dia dah bagi kita power. Okay, kita nak tengok sama ada G dia, dia G on earth or not. Okay, so that is example number 12. Moving on to the final example. Example 13. Okay, example 13. An object mass 2 kg moves with a constant speed 5 meter per second up a inclined plane. Okay, so kita lukis dulu bila dia kata incline plane, kita lukis terus lah. So, this is our incline plane. Okay, incline plane adalah 30 degree. Okay, incline plane kita adalah 30 degree. And the object mass 2 kg. So, kita bayangkan ni adalah kotak kita. Okay, this is our kotak. Okay, and the kotak is moving up. Okay, the kotak is moving up. With a constant speed. So, kali ni dia bagi kat kita speed eh. V equals to 5.0 ms negative 1. Okay, dia bagi speed kat kita. The velocity is moving upwards. A constant frictional force is acting on the object. So, kalau objek itu is moving upwards, kita tahu frictional force kita mesti ke bawah. Okay, so frictional force is here. Okay, determine the rate of work done against gravitational force. Okay, so gravitational force maksudnya disebabkan oleh work lah. So, dia nak rate of work done by the gravitational force. So, kita tulis dulu equation. Okay, for A, equation dia adalah, so we know power equals to rate of work done, dw over dt. Okay, and equation untuk power, another equation untuk power is Fv cos theta. Okay, another equation untuk power is Fv cos theta. And force, force yang dia refer to right now is weight. Okay, force yang dia refer to right now is weight. So, kita boleh bukakan dia sebagai mg v cos theta. Okay, so the mass of the object is 2. G is 9.81. The velocity is 5. Okay, the velocity is 5 meter per second. And cos theta. Theta is the angle between the velocity and our weight. Okay, the angle between. So, kita tengok, tengok eh. Velocity kat sini. This is our weight. So, kita cari angle satu-satu. Kalau kat sini is 30 degree, here is going to be 90 degree. So, kat sini is going to be 60 degree. Okay, tapi sekarang yang kita nak adalah between weight and velocity. So, weight kat sini, velocity kat sini. So, angle between here adalah 120 degree. So, kat sini is cos 
20 Ingat eh Between weight And velocity Sebab weight tu adalah force yang kita nak sekarang So adalah 120 So when you put it into your calculator Kita akan dapat The power is Negative 49 Okay 0.1 watt So the reason kita dapat negative Okay the reason kita dapat negative It shows that Work Okay work Is Done By the system Okay work is done by The system Work is done by The system So sebab tu kita dapat Power yang negative Okay so that is for A So A sekarang Sebab A dia nak work done against gravitational force Kalau B Untuk soalan B Dia nak work done Rate of work done ataupun power Okay, rate of work done By frictional force So sekarang F ni bukan weight dah lah F ni adalah disebabkan oleh frictional force Okay, Fv cos theta Okay, so frictional force Dia dah bagi nilai frictional force kita Which is 4 newton So we can replace force ni terus dengan frictional force Okay, we can replace it terus Frictional force So it's going to be 4 Velocity dia masih sama 5 Cos Theta. So angle between frictional force and velocity Okay if awak tengok frictional force ke sini Velocity awak ke sini Okay so sebenarnya Angle between the velocity and the frictional force is 180 degree Okay so cos 180 So when you put into your calculator Kita akan dapat the final answer to be Negative 20 watts So again kita dapat nilai yang negative The negative is just untuk menunjukkan Work is done by the system Okay work is done by the system Okay so that one is for B Okay and final answer, final question C Soalan C minta kita cari power supply to the object So maksudnya total lah tadi kita cari power disebabkan oleh uh, Weight and also disebabkan oleh frictional force So sekarang dia nak power supply to the object Okay so tadi kita cari work done by the system So dia adalah negative Tapi sekarang dia nak supply to the object So kita akan positifkan semua nilai lah So sebenarnya total Okay total Power Done Total power done By the system Okay Total power done By the system Okay Equals to Power on the object Okay Power on the object And power on the object Sebenarnya equals to So kita akan tambahkan lah So kita akan ambil yang positif sahaja So yang positif So kita akan tambahkan 20 watts Tambah dengan 49.1 watts so kita akan dapat final answer to be 69.1 watts Ok so don't worry Yang negatif ni just menunjukkan work done by the system Tapi sekarang kita tak kita tak kisah work done by the system ke Work done on the system ke Kita nak total power of the object So kita akan tambahkan Kita ambil yang positif sahaja Ok so that is example number 13